The ballet community is mourning the horrific loss of one of its former dancers. Robert Skafta was brutally killed while working in Minneapolis unexpectedly. He had worked at the Kansas City Ballet for 10 years before moving there. KCTV 5's Grace Smith joins us now live here in studio, and she's been talking with his former dance partner. Grace, what did they have to tell you? Well, I'm told Robert Scaft was a beloved friend, mentor, and a dance inspiration. His dear friend, who was his dance par partner at Kansas City Ballet, says she cannot believe what happened. He was just an amazing human being. Robert Scaft, a beloved Kansas City Ballet dancer in the 80s. He was a beautiful dancer. Um, an amazing partner. We did a lot of um, a lot of roles together in our time at the ballet. Jody Anderson was not only his dance partner, but roommate. He kind of became my uh, third brother. So when she heard what happened to him, she was stunned. For something so tra tragic to happen to such uh, an amazing person. So that's it's just unbelievable to me. Anderson says Scaft moved to Minneapolis after leaving Kansas City, quickly becoming a beloved community member. Probable cause documents say Scaft began working at this business. Then on December 8th, everything changed when this man, Taylor Scholes, walked in, allegedly beating and stabbing Scaft with a golf club until he was unconscious. Scaft would later die at the hospital. With that tragic news. That's awful. <laughs> I'm still kind of in a denial. <laughs> it leaves many people wondering how something so horrific could happen to such a loving man. Everybody's text messages and Facebooks and everything were just exploding with this news. Scaft was 66 years old. She was such a just a beautiful person. It's you never, never had. I never saw him get mad. I never saw him get angry or be mean to anybody. He was always, always had a smile on his face. As for Scholes, he is charged with second degree murder. Court documents claim he was diagnosed with schizophrenia while civilly committed. And he once told hospital staff he was fearful his hallucinations would tell him to hurt someone and he'd follow through with it. This is a devastating loss for the ballet community. But the KC Ballet says Scaft will be remembered for the hearts and minds of those he touched with his artistry and kindness. Live in studio, Grace Smith, KCTV 5 News. Mm, truly.